Find out what's hot and what's not. We watch your programme every week. Good to see you've stayed put. It's now time to join me, Samantha Man, and the rest of the Club Vision crew to find out what the God's Kitchen crowd are cooking up at the Sanctuary in Birmingham. But first, let's take a quick rundown from DJ Magazine's dance chart. Number 10, Paul Van Dyke, Tell Me Why. Number 9, MJ Cole, Crazy Love. At number 8, Basement Jacks, Yo Yo, Bingo, Bango. And it's number 7, Micronauts, Bleep to Bleep. Number six, Byron Stingley, Why Can't We Be Real? Number five, Science Department, Persuasion Free Percussion. Number four, the underground sound of Lisbon, the lights. Number three, No Way, No Way, Free Game. Number two, Soul Searcher, Do It To Me Again. Straight in at number one, CZR with I Want You. And it's Roll out the barrel, we'll have a barrel of fun. and deprived yourself of decent nights out, it's about to end. Because we've got a tasty dish which is totally irresistible. Tempted? Thought so. The night, God's Kitchen, the venue, the sanctuary, the town, Birmingham, and the mission to have a wicked time. It's a recipe for success. And Tyrone de Savary. Remembered your names, guys? Yeah, hey! <laughs> God's Kitchen has been a bit of a success story so far. Did you ever think it would be that big? Um, I felt we hoped it'd be this big, but after a lot of effort, it's finally got to where hopefully our aspirations thought it would go. We've got Ibiza this year, Palma Mallorca, Ayanapa, Israel, Israel, NEC, Donington America. Park, America. We've got loads on, you know, it's going well. You have all the big names here. Is that important for you? I think the big names are very important because at the end of the day they're offering the most cutting edge music. But the big names aren't basically everything that makes a club. A good club is made by different elements. God's the big names. You need the DJs who are loyal to us. You need the, the right venue, the right decor. And, um, you know, everything. everything. Yeah, I can't say. I can't say. <laughs> so who does what out of the both of you? We just... Neither of us actually do very that much. No, basically... Tyrone takes Flat care out. of the DJs and the musical element and the artistic stuff, and I take care of... Um, the dancers' auditions. Yeah, the, the dancers' auditions. <laughs> I meant to say, you've been on about that all night. So Ibiza last year was a big success for you. What have you got planned for this year over there? Um, obviously, as you said, Ibiza was a great success for us last year. We're looking to try and improve on that success. We're sitting down and coming up with various formulas at the moment to basically make sure that God's Kitchen this year will hopefully be the best club on the island. I can't really reveal any plans at the moment. All I can say is that when here people hear our plans, they'll sit back and go, oh, my God. Yeah. Exactly, oh, my God's kitchen. And you've got your own website that's starting up in the near future. Tell us about yeah. that. www.godskitchen.com, .net, .uk, .com, .co .uk, all of them. So sorry, uh, sorry, nerds, tough. We've got them all. <laughs> what else have you got planned? Um, we've got the merchandising range coming out. <laughs> yeah, I'll, actually, I'll say that, then you can cut it out later. <laughs> no, basically, we've got uh, the merchandising range gets launched in the next couple of months. We've just shot uh, at the fashion shoot for but that's going to be launched on the internet. And the biggest thing I think we've done in the last uh, sort of month is that we've just signed with uh, London Records yesterday for the biggest uh, multi album deal ever signed by a dance compilation. Very excited, yeah, it's brilliant, it's brilliant, you know, it's just an album deal. Just, you know, it's good. Before you came to Birmingham, God's Kitchen was a bit of a nomadic night. Why did you just decide to come to Birmingham? Um, Birmingham was a place that we'd both been clubbing for many years and we felt that basically it hadn't moved on as much as we thought it could do and we thought that we could bring something new to the Birmingham scene and uh, bring it to a next level. So we took the gamble 
fortunately it's paid off. Birmingham's great. I love best. Birmingham. Birmingham is God's kitchen and, and God's, God's kitchen, kitchen is Birmingham. That's it, mate. Where do people travel from to get here then? Some, some guys just won, lucky winners just won a, a couple of tickets for tonight from Torquay on Radio 1. <laughs> Put your foot down! <laughs> <laughs> Will you guys ever buy this venue? Um, I think that we've got a great working relationship with the people who work at the moment. But at the end of the day, God's kitchen. God, God, now, if that's successful, I don't think we could afford to buy it really, could we? Uh, God's Kitchen's uh, a global entity. And at the end of the day, we work with many partners and we will always do what's best for the company. And I think that at the moment, God's Kitchen is centred at a sanctuary. But you know, at the end of the day, the future's worldwide. Would you like to say anything else before we go? You've got to keep this in. I'd like to say hello to my mate, Alan, who's just been building my house. <laughs> Oh, you want a discount, don't you? No, I don't want it. This, this, he just takes the Mickey because I'm, I'm Birmingham. I'm very proud of it, and I've got this. Alan, Royce, right, mate, in a bit, in a bit, Royce. Right. I've had to do that. Right. And I'd like to say sorry for that. <laughs>
to come to Birmingham. I'm never really in Liverpool, but when I'm there, we go to Cream, um, we do. Have you come to see anyone in particular? Paul Oakenfold, definitely. Yeah. Did you live up to expectations? Yeah, really good. Very good indeed. Definitely O2, it's excellent, yeah. John Kelly or Tool Paul, because whenever Tool Paul comes on, all the crowds will like link hands in a circle. It's just absolutely wicked. Favourite DJ, Scott Bond now. Scott Bond, top, top low. I'm just here to dance, I'm not here to find a wife. <laughs> Carl Cox. Yeah, no snob. I was in Scotland one week and um, a few girls come up to me and said, do you mind um, doing a little thing with us? So I said, yeah, all right. So I ended up stripping down to not and on making this club, which was a little bit mad. Everyone come to God's Kitchen, it's the dog's nuts. One and only Paul Oakenfold. Music Magazine recently described you as the self-proclaimed biggest DJ in the world. What would you like to say about that? Um, that wasn't actually quite right, and I'm really upsetting actually. Um, Music Magazine. I just wish they printed the, the whole article the way it was. I mean, the journalist, who's now the editor. Um, said to me, well, you know, you've been voted the biggest DJ in the world by the readers. Um, do you think you're the biggest DJ? And I said, well, at the end of the day, if people have voted me as the biggest DJ, well, then they feel that I am. I think it's wrong for me to sit here or, 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 and say I am the biggest DJ. It's just done on what the people vote and the clubbers. And that's the most important thing to me is the clubbers. It's not really about me. I mean, it's journalism, isn't it? You know, they just want to stitch you up all the time. And I suppose that's the way it is now. We won't stitch you up, honest. <laughs> nah, I know. Russell won't let you. <laughs> you were recently voted number 13 in Music Magazine's poll of the most influential people in the UK's dance scene. Do you think that these polls serve a purpose at all? I, I, I don't honestly know what that means, to be honest. Number 13, the mo most powerful people in the business. What is that based on? <clears throat> I, you know, it doesn't mean nothing to me. Um, as I say, it's not really about that. It's, it, for me, it's always about the clubbers, uh, about the people that are in the scene, and uh, all of us really working together because we're all part of something. So that's I'm more interested in that. And also Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> <laughs> Get on to the football side. Are you a frustrated footballer yourself? Uh, probably, yeah, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I kick a ball around, I'm not very good. You know, I mean, Chelsea, they mean a lot to me and, you know, we haven't won the championship yet, but we will. <laughs> out of all the new kids that are on the block at the moment, there's quite a few new DJs out there. Is there anyone that you think will have the longevity that you have? Sure. I mean, I think it's good that there's a lot of new and young DJs out there and, uh, you know, we need to we need to help them and, and encourage them, and, and you know, and from my point of view, that's what we did on the Perfecto University tour. I mean, John Graham as a DJ, he's an artist called Quiver. Um, Parts and Wilson as art artists, they're called Tilt, and they've been championing an underground sound for many years now, and they deserve to do well. And you know, any help I can give for those kind of DJs, I will. I, I'm always out there looking. I mean, as I say earlier, Nancy Noise who's uh, a, a young lady who who's, um, hasn't been doing as much DJing as, as she'd want to because she's actually went off and had a couple of kids, but she's brilliant. I mean, she really is. Uh, she understands music, you know, arrangement, structure, key. A lot of things that generally people don't understand are part of DJing, and she's good. So I hope she do well. You're in the studio at the moment. What can we expect? Me and my partner, we've been working uh, with a band called The Cure doing some work for that and um, I've been doing some work on the uh, the new Tomb Raider. You're also doing your um, your last ambition which is actually scoring a, a feature film aren't you at the moment? You can't tell us about it though can you? <laughs> <laughs> no I can't actually but I've been lucky enough to be offered a couple of projects and and I'm working on one of them now, and I'm, it's, it's, it's difficult, but I'm really enjoying it.
subdivision of Y2K. You know it's been worth the wait, and you can count on us to take you to some of the best clubs in the land. So join us next week for some more armchair partying. On next week's show, we visit Golden at the Void in Stoke-on-Trent, catch up with Colour Girl, check Touch Magazine's dance chart, and revel in Sweet Harmony at Eros in North London. Now this is Copper Vision and this is how it's done. This is Copper Vision, Copper Vision number one.